Miss Bing, Dr. V would like you to come back. It's the water system. Those old pipes are contaminating the joy, you see. He's got some blueprints to show you. Some other time, perhaps. We won't take no for an answer. Yeah, let's just talk to Verloc. All right, I think I will. Actually, I'm kind of sad we didn't get to see more of Verloc before Don't now. Ends well, Dr. V. No need to thank us. Thank you. I was the one who did all the work, you ingrate. Get the get the frick out of here before I push you off this ledge. Miss Bing! It's been too long. You seem to be having a bit of a mutiny. <laughs> oh, they do that. Not to worry, everything is very well in hand. Very promising lines of research. Oh, sorts of... I hope they haven't had one of your bad batches. Oh, you're rather well informed. I can't just think faster, Miss Bing. I work until every thought is rubbish, and then I try to sleep. If... If I had Sally Boyle back... I seriously doubt my father would return her to you. I swear, I am this close to a permanent solution. But even if it doesn't work, at some point, you know, we'll be down to a sustainable population. That certainly is a permanent solution. There's no food coming over the bridge, and we're not growing any. So how many of us are sustainable, Tony? You seem a bit... off. You know, a bit sad. He wants to lock you up. I've got a lovely pygmy. Tony, I'm not someone you can throw into a cell like poor Mad Harry. Yes, well. Please, go back and tell the executive committee I'll have a brilliant new formula presently. He won't ever have a solution, will he? Didn't you hear him? When enough people die, the rest will have food. You've got to get people off these ridiculous pills. I'll never convince father of that. Oh, forget your damn father. It's a miracle he hasn't already run for the hills. He's just lost hope. Everyone's let him down. You can't lead if no one will follow. I have to prove to him that people will be reasonable once they come off their joy. But they won't do it willingly. Some of your father's soldiers became addicted to opium. Punishing them was no use, so he locked them up until they weren't addicted anymore. Yes, I could cut off the joy to the whole island. All I have to do is shut down its allocator hub. Then Father will see people can come to their senses. One island? Huh. I have never found half measures to be useful. They only make the oppressor angry. That's the attitude that got you sent to prison. That's the attitude that got me a country. What have you got? So apparently, Harry Hayworth, because I'm assuming that's who she meant, um, she was like, you can't just lock up Mad Harry, like, or lock me up like Mad Harry, and then now that I think about it, I think there was somebody in his lab locked up during, I want to say Arthur's playthrough, that might have been him. And then... She's talking about, you know, getting everybody off their joy. And that's for Verloc. Verloc's like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. Even if I can't figure it out, it'll be a great source of population control. Are you saying you want to cut down on people because there's too many? Hmm. Sounds, uh, similar to our world today, does it not? The parallels between this game and what's going on right now is a bit, uh, concerning, if you ask me. But off we go. Let's head out of Mr. Uh, Verloc's labs and hopefully we don't get locked up and thrown in prison like apparently your mother. All right, fellas. Uh-oh. Miss Bing, Dr. V would like you to come back. It's the water system. Those old pipes are contaminating the joy, you see. He's got some blueprints to show you. Some other time, perhaps. We won't take no for an answer. Stop her! Stop Miss Bing! Why are they allowed to have saws, man? I mean, I get their medical saws, but that's not cool. 
man. These guys always were kind of cool looking. Though. I mean, look at their grin. They're so happy. It makes me kind of wonder, were these people experimented on because of the way they smile all the time? I mean, you think about it. They got that creepy smile like they were suggesting in the paperwork earlier. They just have this uncanny grin. Maybe all the doctors have been experimented on. Call elevator. Come on. Come on, buddy. Gotta go. Time to get out of this crazy place. For unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required. Luke 12:48. Are you quoting the Bible now? Hmm, that's interesting. Ow. Damn it! It's after dark. The bobbies won't care whose daughter I am if I'm breaking curfew. I'd be more worried about the doctors. That man is desperate. He'll send every man he's got. Doctors will now attack you on sight. Great. Ugh. Things are going downhill fast, aren't they? Looks like they were having a bit of a party. What happened to the line? Weren't there people waiting in line for the, the new coconut joy? I'm pretty sure it didn't come out yet, considering what was going on inside. Maybe it's because it's after dark. Maybe they're not allowed to be out here. That would mean that would make sense. She did say breaking curfew. Makes me kind of wonder, with everything that's going on right now in the world, are we going to be seeing a curfew soon? Shouldn't be hard to slip her out at night. She won't get far without crossing a beach. A beef eater? Or a revolter? But what, what do they mean by a beef eater? Is it some sort of slang that I'm not, you know, familiar with? Hi guys! Huh? Can we have me? Oh... boy. Oh, that's got some range. Go off to the right or the left. We've got a happy screen over here. We got a staircase here. Go to the old Bailey district. I mean, I guess there's different directions, but I kind of want to see what's around. I don't want to miss anything. Okay, we've got an alarm there and some bloody drag marks with a body. Civic beautification in progress. Yeah, about that. I kind of want to go that way. We can hook up that way. This just loops around, so we don't really have to go that way. All right, so it looks like all in all, we were gonna head this way anyway. I can go up that way, or I can just walk through here. Well, I kind of just want to walk through here. Let's get the boys. Oh, oh, oh! <gasps> yeah, I definitely can't take a risk of trying to run through there again. I'm gonna end up getting murdered. As much as I'd like to see what's over there. Maybe I can go up and over. Hmm. Okay, this must be the way I'm supposed to go then. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's the case. Oh, I just gotta shut it. Wow, I'm a little slow. All right. So I did have to shut it off. It was just on the other side of the street. Frickin' figures. Ooh, something to read. Dear Constable Auden, while myself and my wife consider it an honor to discreetly host your, quote, 
unquote, control station in the attic of our abode, it would be greatly appreciated were you to tidy up after your tea every evening. Gratefully, Edmund Silly Proprietor. Alright, now we go. Alright, I guess we get to go that way anyway. It's just, I was making it harder than it needed to be. Oh man, seen better days, haven't you, fella? Oh man, this does not look safe at all. Okay, we got one of the crime syndicate guys down there. He should mess with me, right? I don't know, I kind of want to see. Hello, Past mister. Past your bedtime, innit, Miss B? Maybe, but we can be friends, right? You're not gonna mess with me, right? Who are you? What? You're really bringing up! <laughs> Didn't need to be like that, Plowboy Republic. So yeah, these are like the street gangs. Isn't it? I know! Allow me to cheer you No, I would suggest that you don't do that. Alright. Oh man. These guys look like greasers from like the what, the 60s, the 70s? I don't know, my time period, but you get the idea. That's the thing about this, like I'm not sure which way I should go. There was stuff that way, but then there was also this path up here. <laughs> Did the water taste a bit funny to you this morning? What do you mean? Just a bit off. It had a smell, I thought. Well, it couldn't be off. They'd have told us. Oh, sure it was nothing to worry about. Of course not. Uncle Jack would have warned us. You must have imagined it. Oh, you're right. It can't be anything to worry about. If you catch yourself worrying, pop a joy. You'll be right as rain in no time. You're right. I should have. Oh secret conversation. I mean... Oh jeez! Oh jeez! I guess I'd be coming this way anyways, but I could maybe avoid a fight with them if I had gone this way. Not that I really mind, I kind of like looking around, but... Yeah, I'm gonna go back down, because I actually want to see if there's anything to explore down there. Hopefully I don't take too much damage. Ah! No knickers permitted. <laughs> really? You can't wear pants here? I'm pretty sure they were all wearing pants. We've got their uh, symbol. This is the ones that were trying to take out Ollie. If you remember, they wrote these symbols all over his place. If you're not pissed, piss off. Well, I was, but you guys still tried to murder me nonetheless. Okay. I'm gonna go back up, because I actually kind of want to see what's up there. All right, sorry about the amount of back and forth, but I just kind of want to make sure I don't miss anything and we can see everything there is to see. Oh, jeez, no! No! Oh, I'm so tempted. Ah! Oh, oh, I made it. Delightfully trimmed. Oh, thank you. You too. I love how we're all on a diet. I know. Everyone used to be so fat. It's unhealthy, you know? I know. And almost the same meat and potatoes and carrots. Now we have so many new things to eat. What's new with you, dandelion greens? You can eat dandelions. They're really quite tasty. Much more flavour than lettuce. Oh, I never liked lettuce. Good thing we don't have it anymore. Oh, you too. It's nice when you've got a mouthful of food and you can just chew and chew and chew. Oh, how wonderful. I've been filling up on my sawdust. Really? That doesn't get a bit prickly inside. A bit. But it keeps me regular, you know? I'm not sure there's any food in sawdust. It's just a temporary thing. There's bound to be another shipment soon. Absolutely. Any day now. Any day now. Oh, that's quite interesting. They're talking about there being, like, no lettuce anymore. And believe it or not, from what I heard, Wendy's is actually going through a... A shortage on lettuce. I, I went there a few times and ordered like a burger or something and you know it's been an ongoing joke. It's like man where, where's the lettuce? I asked for extra and they put like one single leaf on there which was so like just dead at this point because it had been like on a hot burger and it's like well it'll tiny piece not even enough to cover the burger mind you. I've also heard that sawdust has been used as an additive in Parmesan cheese. Uh, the kind that's 
not, not normally in block form, but like the stuff that's been already ground into like a powder, among other things. It's kind of interesting. It just seems like they're they're poking fun at some of these things. And this path I would not have seen if I had not found this. From the secret shadows of dawn, there's a darkness to disguise. The simple thought I recognize. 